Welcome to 123 My IT's tutorial on how to connect to file servers. <clears throat> you can connect to Mac and Windows computers that have file sharing turned on and to file servers that are using AFP, SMB, NFS, WebDAV and FTP protocols to access the shared files stored on the personal computers of the file servers on your network. You can either browse to the computer by name in a, in a finder window or you can enter the computer IP address directly in the connecting to server dialog. So to open it up, if you want to connect to another computer, just go to click on go and then go connect to a server. All right. And then you would type in the IP address of the server here. So in here I already have the IP address of the of, of another Mac here that I want to try and connect to. So I press con so I put in the IP address like this, hit connect. All right, then it's going to prompt me for the password and the user ID for this one. This one is just one two three. <clears throat> password one two three. All right, and then we actually have access to the the folders uh, that we want to access on that other machine. Okay. Okay. And another way that you can also connect or, or browse other machines on your network, you can simply go to go, go back into connect to a server again, click on browse, all right, and then it shows you my other MacBook Pro that we have, and we can just simply double click on that, and then we have our shared folders here. Okay, and let's say that you're at a work or you're at a, a workplace environment. You can go to go, connect to a server, and you want to try and connect to a, let's say it's a Windows server, or it might be just another Windows machine, Windows 7, uh, Windows 8, Windows Vista. Um, you can type in your IP address there, but make sure you put SMB and then hit connect. Put in the password, hit connect, then we've got our folder there and that's the folder that we want to connect on our Windows share on our server. Okay, we can put a new folder in there and create folders and that type of thing. So the other thing to remember, and if you're at a workplace environment, so let's say you don't have the IP address but you've got the server name. Well, the server name of my uh, Windows machine here is just ICT, and then slash, and we could go Windows share. We could connect that way. We could also connect by going to go connect to a server by replacing that computer name or server name with the IP address. Connect. All right. So those are some very simple tips on how to connect to um, Windows shares. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching. And don't forget to leave a thumbs up. Thanks guys. Bye bye.